Lisa Nepper, Director of Sales Support for MGC Diagnostics. I want to welcome you to the Scent Sales Demo Training Modules. Today we're going to cover patient information and the flow volume loop. A patient can be entered into Quick Search if they have already had a test done. You would find the patient, highlight the patient, and select Add Visit by selecting the blue plus sign to the right of the patient's name. For a new patient, select Add Patient. Fill in the patient data. The fields with yellow on the left side are mandatory. Select Save and Create Patient Visit. Enter the patient's height and weight and race. Enter the occupational information, such as coal mine. Check currently for tobacco use and select cigarettes. And one pack per day. Pack years will be calculated. For shortness of breath from the drop down box, select on hills and stairs. Select none for cough. Select rare for wheeze. For medications, select the blue plus sign and from the drop down box, select albuterol. Select the start date as 9-1-2016. Type in asthma in the diagnosis field and select mild persistent asthma uncomplicated. For test details, select the appropriate physician. Any comments can be written into the test comments section. Select begin testing. The first test starts with the flow volume loop. Note that the flow volume loop icon has a green highlight around it. The order of tests performed can be changed by selecting the different test icons. I'm going to have you put the flow sensor in your mouth with your lips tight around it so that there are no leaks. Then I'm going to have you breathe normally until I say, take in the deepest breath possible and blow it out as fast and as hard and as long as you can. Then I'm going to have you take in as quickly as possible, another breath. As I perform the maneuver, the standards gauge will guide the technologist in real time for back extrapolated volume, expiratory time, and plateau criteria. As each of these requirements are met, the area for that section will turn green. When all areas of the standards gauge are green, the patient can then take in a big deep breath. The user can select stop and the effort will have met all ATS criteria. There's less need to look at the actual patient tracings during the test, as all ATS ERS criteria for that particular effort can be seen by looking at the QC gauge. To perform the first effort, the patient will insert the flow sensor and attach nose clips and breathe normally for two to three breaths. Inhale maximally, exhale as hard and as fast as possible, when six seconds lapse, the flow criteria is met, the entire standards gauge will be green. The patient then will inhale as fast and as rapidly as possible. The software has the ability to display inspiratory up, expiratory down, with the measured parameters displayed in the left margin. The best FVC and the best FEV1 are in bold type and will be the best efforts. If the measured value is below the predicted value, it will be in red. The values that have squares around them, FVC and FEV1, they are the two efforts that agree within 150 mils, ATS criteria. Efforts can be selected or unselected from consideration by checking or unchecking in the selected column. A different inspiratory loop can be selected other than the one the software selects. For example, select Flow Volume Montage, then Save. You will see each individual flow volume loop. To set it back, right click on the Flow Volume Loop graph and select Flow Volume Overlay, then Save. Adjustments to the graph's axis and colors can be made by selecting the axis and colored tabs. Click on the axis tab, then click on colors tab 
then save. Icons on the right of the flow volume screen from top left. Manual entry data, aux data entry, comments, scorecard, visit information, and predicted versus actual FBC bar graph. The scorecard can be used to quickly see which individual efforts met which ATS criteria with regard to back extrapolated volume, end of test criteria, exhalation time, cough within the first second, a green dot passes and a red dot fails. For repeatability, the two largest FVC and FEV1 within 150 mils. Also, the mil difference from the largest is shown. This will tell the operator how close to the standard two efforts were. A report can be selected and printed or viewed or an initial interpretation can be added to the report. The pad and pencil icon will allow a preliminary interpretation to be written. Once done, the test should be marked completed. Thanks for watching today. We look forward to showing you all the capabilities of the Ascent software.